Oh, hey guys, it's so great to be with you again and uh, I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite scriptures in John chapter 15, verses uh, 12 to 15. So I'm just going to pray and then we're going to ask the Holy Spirit just to reveal God's love to you. So Father, we just ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, just to send your Holy Spirit, just to fill us with your Spirit, God, just to teach us all about Jesus, show us who Jesus is and show us all about your love and let us receive from you how loved we are today, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Well, let me ask you this question. What pictures do you have if I said to you this question? What if I said, hey, what's God like? You might imagine something in your mind. You might be thinking, uh, yeah, he's like a guy. He sits in the clouds and he sends thunderbolts across the clouds. That's Zeus, guys. That's not, that's not the Lord God of heaven's armies. It's a different, it's like Greek mythology. It's not the same, okay? Um, you might picture, I don't know, maybe you picture like a, a big dude with a beard or something. Well, the good news is we don't have to only imagine. <laughs> the Bible actually says that if we have uh, seen Jesus, then we have seen God. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus is actually the perfect representation of God the Father. Which is amazing because then when we look at all the things that Jesus does, the, the way he loves, his mercy, his kindness, his forgiveness, we can be really assured, we can be just totally confident that is what God is like. It's the best. Uh, let me read this scripture for you from John chapter uh, 15, which says, this is my commandment. And this is Jesus speaking. He says, this is my commandment, love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friends since I've told you everything the Father told me. It's a really beautiful picture because what we see is Jesus saying to his followers, disciples, followers of Jesus, just like you and me. He's saying, I no longer call you servants, slaves who just do what I tell them and don't know what I'm thinking, who aren't in my family. He says, now I actually call you friends. You are people who I've welcomed into my, into my heart, into my family, into the middle of my affection. That's what Jesus is saying. And remember, if we see Jesus, we see what God the Father is like. And so right here, right now, today, you, as you're hearing this, you can understand and never forget that Jesus calls you his friend. It helps kind of destroy any of, the, any of those other pictures we might have had about God, you know, like the thunderbolt God or the one who's angry at us and wants to punish us and the one who's looking at us going, no, I already know what you did and I'm angry at you. Or any of that can just go because we see what God is like when we see Jesus. In Jesus, we have this beautiful picture where he says, you are my friends. He says, I love you so much that I will lay my life down for you. Because Jesus is saying to you, I would rather die for you than to have to live for eternity without you. Friends, Jesus is telling you and me that he loves us so much that he'll lay his life down. And if any of us ever get to those moments, sometimes you get frustrated and have disappointments in life and you're thinking, man, does God even love me? Here's what you can remember. If God didn't love me, then why did he lay his life down to save me? No, we can be certain that God loves us, friends. And I hope you remember that and I remember that every day of our lives in Jesus' name. God bless you guys.